tell me what you love about Daddy? Hey Tim, happy 40th birthday, man. Wanted to say thanks for everything you do for Lindsay, Wesley, and Cooper. You're a great husband, you're a great father, and now you're a great 40 year old. Uh, thanks for everything you do, man. Uh, I wish we got to spend a little more time together. Uh, we need to work on that. But um, hope you have a great birthday, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Well, hello, happy 40th, yay! Um, question number one. My fondest memory of you is celebrating the 2010 Olympics when Canada won our gold medal. Woo, best of hockey! <laughs> and celebrating with Alistair and Kim and Linz in New West here. Um, we had a great time during the Olympics and I'm really glad that we got to share it with you. Uh, the second thing was about um, what I appreciate about you the most and that's Probably your understanding of Lindsay and I's relationship and just being a great support to me and her and your children. I think you're a wonderful man and Lindsay and everyone else around you, myself included, are so blessed to have um, such a great person in our lives because you bring so much joy and happiness and fun times. Um, and then also provide that brotherly support that I always look for in you. So it's really great and I love you very much and I hope you have a wonderful 40th birthday. And yay! Morning Timo. Happy 40th birthday from Hawaii. Hope everything's going good. Miss you. Uh, miss everybody. Uh, I hope you have a good one. Um, shit, I just laughed the other day because I was driving around and I thought about you Still gets me. Uh, that was a hilarious moment in my life. Uh, I don't know if you remember it, but Lord. Shoot, man, I miss you. I miss hanging out with you. Uh, but you're funny. Funny guy. And uh, hopefully you're going to hang out again soon. Uh, maybe 41, maybe 42. Maybe 42. Hey Timo, we've always had a very memorable times together. All the parties at your dad's house, all the parties at your mom's house, and the trips to, to Whistler, uh, my bachelor party at Lake Shasta. Dude, you've always been very entertaining. And I've always loved hanging out with you. Uh, I remember one time in particular <laughs> at my parents' house, you came over, you passed out, lost an eyebrow, you walked downtown. Dude, you've always been very entertaining. Hey Tina, you wanna come say happy, happy birthday to Tim? Tim? Tim who? Timo. Oh, Timo. The preppy one. The, the preppy one? Yeah, all your friends have names. Well, what are their names? It's not their video. <laughs> happy birthday, Timo. Happy birthday. Hey Tim, what's up, Daryl? Um, I wanted to call and say happy birthday. Well, I guess I'm not calling, but happy birthday. Um, just hanging out here at the San Francisco airport. Uh, obviously, that's why I'm not there, but I um, just wanted to say happy birthday. And I think, just to tell some old memory about you, I think the biggest thing for me and you is probably growing up together our whole life. So there's nine million stories. Um, I think most of our memories revolve around uh, probably building cutty jumps and ruts and riding our bikes all over the sticks around both our houses as kids with probably a bunch of the people that are there right now and um, yeah those are always good times man and, and uh, we continue to do so as adults and stay healthy and you know uh, spend more time with uh, the ones we care about so man appreciate you hanging and uh, what a good time as kids and I enjoy continuing to have good times with you as an adult so uh, happy birthday man Hey Tim, happy birthday. I'm really happy I get to do this for you um, and get to be there in spirit. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person. And you know, I'm, I'm really impressed that you've made it to 40 years old. Having a toddler boy at this point, I'm impressed any male makes it past the age of about 10 um, without stumbling off 
a cliff or running into the street or falling off a bike. And considering the fact that you were on wheels before you could walk, pretty much, it is incredibly impressive that you are now 40 years old and a father of two boys who can um, cause you all sorts of stress and, and wreak havoc all over the house. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's just a wonderful thing that at this stage in our life we get to experience very similar themes um, in our life and, and we get to commiserate with each other and I love that I can give you a call and we can have an honest conversation about the um, wonderful parts and trials of, of raising kids um, and that you and I are, are getting to know each other um, in a new way than we did when we were kids. So we were supposed to talk about a favorite memory that we have um, of you and, and what comes to mind when we think of you. And, you know, there's so many memories I have of you that um, it's hard to come up with just one. You know, they range from hilarious moments on road trips, RV trips with dad, and to you dropping our um, nanny's tongue cleaner in the toilet and um, to you holding my hair back when I had a little bit too much to drink at your college graduation and uh, my head over the sink and you say, you know what, Jess? Everybody ends up with their head in the sink every once in a while. You know, those words of support and experience just really um, helped me through that moment of, of terrible humiliation and um, discomfort leading to a horrible hangover. Um, that only a sugary vodka cranberry can do. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of my life. And, um, you know, you just, you've been an amazing brother and mentor and um, confidant. And I just have loved having you in my life. And I feel so honored and blessed to have someone with such a lovely, kind heart and um, beautiful spirit in my life. I feel so lucky. So, um, with that, I hope you have a wonderful evening with your friends and, um, remember you're 40 years old, so go a little easier than you, than you used to. Um, because as we all know, after 40, it all goes downhill and you're going to pay for it tomorrow. So have some fun, but not too much. Love you. Bye. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy 40th birthday. Man. So, my favorite probably memory, I guess, and I don't know, it's gu guilty. <laughs> it's a guilty memory for sure. <laughs> uh, was when Tim fell asleep drunk at a party first with his shoes on, so it's fair game. And we jokingly decided to shave my brow, but the person I was with chickened out at the last second and I grabbed the clippers and did it. And I didn't realize that I really actually did cut the eyebrow completely off until after he woke up and came out of the bedroom and people had drawn on him sharpies and put shaving cream in his ears and he still was completely close that anything like that had happened to him. And until uh, another friend mentioned it, like, don't you hate it when your ears phone him? And he's like, what? And went into the bathroom, looked at himself in the mirror and realized that he had Sharpie all over his face, penis and whatever, all over. Drawn on. Drawn on. <laughs> Let's <laughs> clarify that okay. one. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> completely destroyed the bathroom left, stormed out of the house, out in the middle of Santa Cruz Gardens, somehow made his way down to 7-Eleven, where he saw another friend, another friend confronted him and said, dude, what happened to you, or something to that effect. Tim socks him <laughs> after the guy offers him a ride. The guy's like, screw you, Tim, I'm out of here. He left him there, and somehow he still managed to get home with the BFD. So I feel very, very guilty about it, and I still laugh, even though I mean, it was a total dick. But whenever I think of him carrying around the uh, 
makeup pencil in his back pocket for weeks and weeks. Can't help but laugh, even though it was a jerk thing. <laughs> but um, so that was that was a, a memory that I'm sure I'd like to forget, and I feel guilty sharing. But I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so Tim, Tim, good qualities. I think. The thing I admire most about Tim is his complete fun. He's just fun. Like, Tim's all about fun. And he organizes fun. And like, the trips to Whistler and mountain bike rides and, and everything. He's really good at organizing and getting us all together. And I think, you know, one of those things that really brought that home was when we were in Washington. Seattle, and we were on our way back from the first trip with Whistler, and there was a group of us, there was E.G., Tim, Orion, and Steve, and we're all sitting around this table, and, and uh, the waitress came up and asked us how long we'd all known each other, and we all mentioned, like, junior high, and of course, Orion, E.G., elementary school, and stuff, and, and the girl was like, wow, I don't even have friends from high school that I'm in touch with anymore. So, without Tim, I'm, I'm always wondering how close we'd all be together because you know, he brings us all together. I really that. Taking the time out of his day to organize this stuff, he was super cross. So, that's what I admire about Tim. And he's funny as hell. And you took up all the time, so I'm Amen. just gonna say <laughs> happy birthday, Tim. And we love you lots and we appreciate you and the family guy that you are and the friend that you are and for all the good smiles and all the good laughs. Thank you very much and we hope you have a wonderful 40th birthday. Happy birthday. Bye. Good night. Bye. My favorite memories of Timo are actually recently, it's any memory of him with our boys just playing and having a great time when no one else is around and when they're just the three of them enjoying each other together. <clears throat> what I appreciate most about him, about you, is your dedication to us, to our family, to our life, to this life. You do everything to make sure that we're having a wonderful, happy life together. It manifests its way in, it manifests itself in all ways in your commitment to us and the family and to your job and how hard you work and to yourself and your health. It's amazing and I just love you so much. Hi Tim, it's mom again. I don't know if you got the other three I've done of this, but anyway, happy birthday guy. I love you lots and you know all the answers to the favorite memories and what I appreciate most about you. I just love you, love you, love you. Hope you have a really, really good party and God, <laughs> um, and a wonderful next 50 years of happiness. Love you, bye. Hi, Tim. This is Dad, in case you didn't recognize me. This was not an easy task getting this organized, trying to figure out how to get this video and upload it but in any case i'm gonna join your tribute the questions what is my favorite memory with timo well i didn't have one so i wrote a little list and here it is being present when you were born being present when you first said dada being present when you took the first step being present when you made your first poop on the potty being present when you started to ride bikes being present and watching you grow and develop through kindergarten, Happy Valley, Branch of Forty Medical, Middle School, Harbor High, University of Colorado. Being there and teaching you how to ski when you were three and a half years old. Being present when you caught your first fish. Being there as you entered the world of responsibility and social development. Being there for your 21st birthday and sharing that 1976 bottle of French Bordeaux, a joint, and a roust around a gentleman's club all in the same evening. My favorite memories were just being there up to the present. Second question, what do I appreciate most about Timo? 
His love for me and the two grandchildren he and Lindsay produced. I love you, Timo. Happy 40th birthday. And when you make it to 75, you can say the same thing to your son. Have a great day. Yo, Timo. What's up, dude? 40th birthday. I really hope that you've liked your uh, tribute that I made for you. And uh, it was pretty cool, man. I was, I was uh, really stoked to, to, see how turn, to see how it turned out. And uh, the people that participated was awesome. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I came up with these questions. And now, I, you know, it's ridiculous for me to even think about what the hell to say. But how do you sum up uh, an entire lifetime of friendship in uh, one question? Um, and really, you can't. You know, I... I, uh, there's just so many things, um, you know, from growing up as kids, you know, building like marble tracks in your mom's hill to like, you know, converting that to a downhill, uh, you know, bike course that was completely unrideable, um, riding dirt bikes and getting into motorcycles together, uh, and, you know, me riding a quad and, you know, of course, being the cool kid with a motorcycle, that always kind of sucked for me, but course my parents wouldn't let me ride motorcycles because they were too dangerous but they let me ride a quad anyways uh yeah from you know that to high school and partying and hanging out and everything all the way through college I mean a lot of firsts and a lot of uh good times um I I could never imagine uh my life not having you in my life and uh having done all those wonderful things with you um one of the things that stands out the most, though, is that when we were driving back from Colorado and uh, we were just kind of sitting there quietly and uh, I blurted out and said, yeah, it is pretty weird that the river's flowing the other way. And you looked at me and you're like, I asked you that question, but I didn't say anything. And I said, yeah, I know. And, you know, it was really I knew we were connected, you know, long before that. But it was then that I realized that we were, you know, <laughs> It was a little deeper than uh, just uh, just friends. So um, again, there's just so many things. Um, one of the things that uh, the next question is, what I what I really appreciate about you. Again, many things, uh, but uh, one of them uh, is your patented sayings that you start off you know sentences with, like you know like, dude, I am so stressed out right now. You have no idea. That one's pretty rad. Or like. You know, uh, like, I'm super like, tired right now. Or what's the other one that you could do? You have, dude, you have no idea. Oh, I already said that one. But anyways, you get the idea. You have a lot of really funny sayings that, uh, that are pretty much come up in a lot of stories that I start when I talk about you. Next thing is, is that you make everything sound really difficult like having kids and work and your friends and everything else but you make it look effortless and I think I really appreciate that about you and that is that um, so, sorry my phone was about to die um, yeah I mean you make uh, work sound like it's impossible but you make it look like it's the easiest thing you've ever done and you make kids raising kids sound really difficult and hard which I'm sure it is but you make it look easy, and uh, you certainly uh, have some uh, issues with friends and whatnot, but man, you sure have a lot of good friends, and you make it look easy, and I, and I, I love that, and I admire that about you in our friendship. So, anyways, happy birthday, 40 fucking, and uh, I love you, bro. I wish I could be there, but uh, have a good one. Ooh.